Peace everyone. I wanted to do a video today of me making some green juice. I am in need of some green juice very much. Okay. I made some cookies last night for me and my son and I want some green juice. I haven't been eating anything too crazy but i know that i want some so let's juice together oh i am using some kale some lovely kale some dandelion and i am using some char and some char okay and some a whole bunch of celery probably like six um six uh not ribs but um six oh my god i can't even think <laughs> i forgot what it's called but i'm using six celeries um bushels of celery not bushels but i know you guys know what i'm talking about so let's see how much juice that's the video let's see how much juice this this i make with this because i really don't know you know i went into the to the grocery store and i was like okay um let me just get what i instinctively want to get and i don't even know how much it's going to make so we'll see how it turns out together and so i am putting now i know how much of the stuff that i that i that i bought but so i'll put that in the description but um i don't really know how much i'll make so that'll be interesting to see how much it makes and since we are using the nama j2 juicer on youtube today it shouldn't take too long to do this video so I'm using the soft ingredients first. And so I'm just taking the dandelion and I'm more than likely I'm going to put a little bit of, I'll probably put a little bit of apple in it because I did buy some apples. Because I know this still will make a lot of juice because I have a lot of celery. And so of course celery has a lot of water content in it. as well as being very nutritious for you, of course. <laughs> and we're going to turn, oh my God. And now we're going to turn on the juicer and we are going to start juicing. And I probably took about, it's, I don't even know how much I just put in here, but again, I will put all of this on my blog and in the description and everything, guys. So. Okay, so I'm still juicing the green, the soft greens first. And um, when you're using the Nama juicer, you want to make sure that you are cutting the pieces up to make them. So if you're using like kale leaves and chard and you know, dandelion, different greens, you know, um, you want to cut them up into shorter pieces. It definitely makes the process more smoother. So you are, you know, respecting the process that the Nama juicer has to do to grind up the juice and to get the pulp. So, um, yeah. And so I'm still juicing, so yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, and I am still cutting up the pieces and let me show you. So, you know, you just cut it up. You're going to be cutting them up into smaller pieces. I just usually put on a cutting board and I just cut up the pieces and I put them in here. And I preferably choose to put all the soft ingredients since I'm making a lot all the soft ingredients first, uh, such as the leaves. 
and then i'll just do the celery separately and of course i'm cutting up the celery as well all right so i had to put my mic in and so i'm putting more and again i cut it up into little pieces and i'm putting the last bit in here and then I'm going to be putting the celery. Okay. okay, so what I noticed while I was juicing is that it is more, it is best too from my experience with the nama j2 juicer and i would imagine yeah well i can't speak for all juices but with the nama j2 juicer it is beneficial to put when you're juicing to put your vegetables that don't have a lot of water content with vegetables that have a lot of water content or fruit so in my case i'm using kale and chard and dandelion so i would definitely want to add juices that are um i want to add celery and or cucumber and things like that while i am juicing each batch so if i put some leaves in here then i'm going to put something that's hard it has more water content with it so that it can go through smoother because i notice when i just put the leaves in there alone it takes longer and it is not running it's not going as smoothly as it could be if i would put celery and cucumber and different things in there as well so i would definitely recommend that so there is a tip that uh, i would recommend from my own personal experience so i'm going to get back to the to the celery to put it in here i've already juiced the leaves and this was about, I would say this was about three, three, um, three, but three bunches of, of kale and two bunches of chard, or I think maybe two bunches of kale and two bunches of chard and dandelion and a handful of, in a, and a bunch of dandelion and so now i'm going to add the six celery bunches okay and i, I don't know why i can't think of the name right now <laughs> but i'm not talking about the individual celery ribs i'm talking about the uh, group of celery so six of them okay so i'm going to add that to this and let's see how much i make Peace divine. So I finished juicing the celery and uh, again I used six heads of celery and I started out after I juiced the kale leaves, right, and the chard and the dandelion that came to about maybe 10, 10, 15 ounces and uh, I was able to get about uh, I would say all together it's about 10 cups so 10 cups of juice all together and I also added two apples at the end and if you want to see so this is well, this is a little more than six this looks like this is probably like seven. Wait, let me see. Yeah, it's like seven. It's like seven cups right here. And this is 32. And I'm going to mix them again. I'm going to take it all out. And I'm going to 
mix it because if you can see this one is darker because it has the the leaves in it <laughs> with the celery and this is just the celery but I put some apple in this one and I put some apple in the other one but I'm going to take one out to mix it before I put it in the refrigerator and of course I'm about to drink some as well so yeah so I am so grateful and you can see my son's snake plant I think I'm going to propagate one of the leaves uh, yeah so um, yeah I had to water it because I have to remind my son to water his snake plant okay <laughs> so yeah so I am so grateful to do this video. I love jumping on here and sharing as much content that I can. And yeah, so this is, if you wanted to make, I mean, you know, I recommend when it comes to juicing that you strive to drink at least, at least, 16 to 32 ounces a day but when I first started out years ago it was not like that so to each his own it's okay if you just do eight ounces a day it is totally fine because the body will work towards what it wants which is it wants things that are alive and that's good for you so it's okay it really doesn't matter it is fine if you're starting out with four ounces eight ounces a day be you know and then you know every other week you can add you know eight more ounces and then you know ultimately it would be great if you could do you know uh, you know eight ounces three times a day or you know just about yeah, 32 ounces a day you know that that would be the goal and so since this is since this is 10 cups okay so uh, this will last me this will probably last me the amount of time that it will last so I will definitely be drinking 32 ounces today and so, you know, and then tomorrow I will have 32 ounces again. So you can imagine how long this is going to last me, the 10 cups, right? So, and I'll probably still have more than 32 ounces per day. And I will make sure that I put this up on my blog and that I will, uh, you know give tips like I'm talking about now and things like that and yeah it's really exciting for me to share this journey with you and I wanted this to be an organic process for me the way that I share with you because I think that that's I think that that's the best way to be to share with people you know how you feel in those moments while you're experiencing them and allowing yourself to grow into different experiences and grow while you're sharing information and knowledge and I am definitely learning and growing from these experiences and yeah so if you have any questions and you have any uh, I would love if you share with me the type of juices that you enjoy and uh, you know any advice you want to share on the platform as well and tips for others that's always appreciated and please don't forget to like share and subscribe because I love making these videos on YouTube and it means a lot and there will definitely be a lot of more videos coming and I look forward to that and as always be true to yourself be well be blessed peace divine